Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. It's your friendly neighborhood critic back with another hot take on the latest royal drama. Buckle up, because this one's a doozy. So, unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard the wild rumors swirling around about Prince Archie's biological mom. Now, I'm not one to gossip, but when a story this juicy drops in my lap, I can't help but dig deeper. Let's break this down, shall we? But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now, first off, let's address the elephant in the room. We haven't seen hide nor hair of little Archie or his sister Lilibet in ages. Now, I'm not saying there's anything sinister going on, but it's definitely odd. I mean, most parents can't stop showing off their kids, right? But with Mankin and Harry, it's like their children are the world's best kept secret. And it's not just that we don't see them. Megan barely even mentions the kids anymore. It's like they've dropped off the face of the earth. Now, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but when a mother goes from gushing about her children to radio silence, it makes you wonder what's really going on behind those Montecito mansion walls. But here's where things get really interesting, folks. According to some pretty explosive reports, there was a phone call. Not just any phone call, mind you, but one that could blow this whole situation wide open. Apparently, a woman claiming to be Archie's biological mother reached out to the nanny in Montecito. Now, I know what you're thinking. Come on, that's crazy talk. But hear me out. This woman, born in 1980, supposedly called Megan's house after hearing about the rumored split between Megan and Harry. She was concerned about what would happen to Archie if mommy and daddy dearest called it quits. Now, that's what I call motherly instinct. But wait, it gets better. This mystery woman reportedly said, and I quote, I blame myself. Why can't I protect my child? I let the evil Duchess of Surrogate mistreat my child who was so cute and innocent. Ouch, those are some fighting words if I've ever heard them. Now, let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. We've got a kid we never see, a mother who never talks about him, and now a woman claiming to be his real mom. It's like we're living in a real life soap opera, people. But here's the kicker. Apparently, this nanny has been reaching out to the biological mother for help. If that's true, it paints a pretty grim picture of what might be going on in the Sussex household. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. This is all just tabloid nonsense, and you might be right, but let's consider a few things. One, the secrecy around the children. We've barely seen them since they were born. In this age of social media oversharing, that's pretty unusual for such high profile kids. Two, the lack of mention. Megan used to talk about her kids all the time. Now, crickets. Three, the travel ban. Rumor has it that Megan won't let Harry take the kids out of California. Now, I'm no legal expert, but that seems a bit controlling, don't you think? Four, the nanny's involvement. If this story is true, why would the nanny be reaching out to someone claiming to be Archie's biological mother? That's not exactly standard childcare procedure. Now, I'm not saying we should believe every wild rumor that comes our way, but when there's smoke, there's often fire. And right now, folks, it's looking pretty smoky in Montecito. But let's switch gears for a moment and talk about the other big news in the royal world. Our boy Prince William is headed to the Big Apple. That's right. He's making a solo trip to New York on September 19th. Now, why is this significant, you ask? Well, it just so happens to be a few days after Harry's birthday on September 15th. Coincidence? I think not. It seems like Will is doing some clever maneuvering here. By coming a few days after Harry's birthday, he avoids any awkward, why didn't you visit your brother? Questions. Smart move? Will's. But it does make you wonder, how bad has this family feud gotten? I mean, these are brothers we're talking about. They used to be thick as thieves. Now they can't even be in the same country at the same time. It's sad, folks. Really sad. And speaking of sad, let's talk about the fallout from Harry's book, Spare. Remember that little tell-all? Well, apparently, it's put some serious strain on the Sussexes. Royal commentator Katie Nichol claims that the pretty epic reaction to the book has turned friends and family against them. I mean, can you blame people? Harry aired out all the royal dirty laundry for the world to see. That's bound to ruffle some feathers. And now it seems like the chickens are coming home to roost. But here's what really gets me. Where was Megan during all this? She was noticeably absent during Harry's book tour. 
Now, I'm not saying she knew it was going to be a flop, but well, actually, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's like she saw the iceberg and decided to hop in a lifeboat while Harry steered the Titanic straight into it. And now, we're hearing rumors that Macon might be planning to send Archie to Jamaica. I mean, if that's true, it's a whole new level of cruel. But again, with Megan, anything seems possible at this point. So what do we make of all this, folks? Is Archie really the child of a surrogate? Is Megan planning to cut and run? Is the royal family falling apart at the seams? Here's what I think. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And right now, the House of Sussex is looking pretty smoky. The secrecy, the rumors, the family feuds, it all adds up to a pretty messy situation. But hey, I'm just a friendly neighborhood critic. What I know? I'd love to hear what you all think. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into royal drama, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You never know when the next royal bombshell might drop. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposes on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.